coming up on Fresh Dew with Pastor Inkechi Ene. Manifestations are limited and stunted by atmosphere. It has been said, and you all know it, that the atmosphere you permit determines the product you produce.
atmosphere is a condition. It is a possibility ambience. An atmosphere is an aura. Don't be confused when you read that as Peter was walking, his shadow was healing the people. Meanwhile, the scripture says that the people were put on both sides of the road. Or except you put light on somebody Shadow does not go on both sides of the road at the same time. So it was not his physical shadow. It was the aura that he carried. We came with atmosphere here. And we met atmosphere here. We had our honeymoon in the Bahamas. Went to Miles Monroe's church, took a selfie with him in August 2014. Little did we know that that was going to be the end. We were actually in the Bahamas. Our flight landed around 11, 12. We took a 6 a.m. Red, red eye flight from JFK to Atlanta, Atlanta to Freeport. The conference was in pre Freeport, not Nassau. And because it was a red eye flight, we were sleeping. Woke up, I went to use the restroom, and you know how things drop on your iPad, and I saw stuff that I couldn't believe. Like Elijah, he had gone up in a ball of fire. Looking at the Bahamas, I got angry during our honeymoon. I said, why not the Gambia? Atmosphere. So it is also called an enabling environment. How many of you have those feelings when you travel to some countries, you dream big? Until you land home and Nepal normalizes you. Or abnormalizes you, I should say. Because Thomas Edison in his grave will be wondering, what is wrong with those people? 
I discovered this thing 19th century. You go to some nations and places, you believe anything and everything is possible in your life. And the same you come back to where you live and something boxes you. It's called atmosphere. And that is why the company and the, uh, the people that can change our countries are seated here. Atmosphere. Atmospheres can be good. They can be bad. They can be enabling, toxic, poisonous, negative. Things thrive or die depending on the atmosphere they are in. There's this little Japanese fish called the koi fish. I'm sure you've heard about it. It's a very funny fish, tiny. If you put it in a little tank, it grows to about three centimeters. You take it out, you put it in a one-foot tank, it grows bigger. You take it in a mighty environment, it grows to its fullest length. What is limiting its growth and manifestation and development is the what? Atmosphere, the environment. Manifestations are limited and stunted by atmosphere. It has been said, and you all know it, that the atmosphere you permit determines the product you produce. Take it as a truism. Any atmosphere you permit will give you its product. Manifestations will occur. Sometimes when we are praying and worshiping, there is a track we have called Spirit Sounds. People just worshiping in the spirit for about 25 minutes. It catalyzes something in you. And then you take off on your own. Atmospheres can be people hey, shy. Should I take that back? No, it's true. There are some people that are atmospheres. There are people that walk into your sitting room that, hey, uh -uh. Obi, now this guy in TV is killing you get. Look for the fastest way of walking out of your house. You cannot afford, that atmosphere is too expensive for your house. Are they able to stop recording for 30 seconds? Okay, because you are live. How can we do this? I will say it openly. There are people who I don't introduce my wife to. Ask her, she'll tell you. It's a great understanding we have. So when you see me, oh, Pastor Falls, you'll be chatting with me and she's walking to the car. Once we were flying and we were a flight with a lot of people, my elder sister, Dr. Pam, was there. We all chatted and came down, the bus went, and Dr. Pam said to me, Pastor, hey, you didn't introduce her. I said, no, 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 no. It is when I bring you into my sitting room that you can tell people the color of my furniture. It is where Lot was that made him see what he didn't want to see and vex his soul. Guard your atmosphere. 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 People are atmospheres. Places are atmospheres. Sometimes you go to places, as soon as you leave, you start speaking in tongues. It's called detoxing. You have to detox. As soon as you come at Lika, Po, Seke, Peri, Lato, Mose, and for me now, I don't care. In the plane, anywhere. Atmosphere. People, places, things, thoughts, associations, endorsements, compromises are atmospheres. 
Atmospheres are deliberately created for good or for bad. God deliberately created what he wanted. Let there be a firmament and let it separate the waters from above from the waters from beneath. That firmament he called heavens is an atmosphere, an environment in which things happen. If you can take it, atmosphere is spirit. When the angels stirred the waters, an atmosphere was created. When Jesus Christ was raising Jairus' daughter from the dead, he drove everybody out because they were all laughing. Oil and water don't mix. You can't put new wine into old bottles. After doing many wonders around the entire Israeli topography, he came home. He couldn't do much except just touch a few people. You know why? Atmosphere. Unbelief. Eh, we know her. We're all at Osuka together. Eh, I know him now. Ah, is he not uh, from? Ah, I know her. Whenever you do that, you are cutting short your blessing. Because ladies and gentlemen, every minister worth his or her salt that is matured can read an atmosphere. There are places you go to and these kinds of anointing will never manifest. Great churches, fully air-conditioned. I mean, things that will make you, the Sarah the Sarah say, Kole. You people say senti. It's like you forget where you are. But nothing can happen. Except you do something. Which I will tell you. There are places you come to. And it's like people say, but I hear this woman every week. I hear this man. What, what is the difference? Same microphone. Same keyboard. Same everything. But the atmosphere is different. The places you go, you feel a pushback. So you just give them and go. And then you go to the next city and they hear all kinds of explosions of God's almightiness. I said, but she was here to what happened? No. Every one of us is sensitive to atmosphere. Because it is the substrate on which we grow to manifest the purpose of God. In Mark chapter 18, Abi, Pastor Sonny, Jesus actually took one man's hand and took him out of the city and healed him outside the city. Why? Why? He found the man there. <laughs> He looked at the man and said, this thing, if I leave this man here, we go talk, talk. We'll be singing all the kinds of songs. Send down the power. Nothing to happen. He looked, he just held the man and said, let's take a walk, John. Let's take a walk. Took him outside where atmosphere was clear. I healed him. Easy. Mark 8.23. It's all about atmosphere. So you want to manifest God and you have to manifest God. If not, this theme is not true. But you have seen over the last two days. And I followed Pastor Ketch. You know, we are one hour behind you in Gambia. So when I start service, I they do something else. I, I, they, I they watch. I watch. When you did keep in by the Holy Ghost, I watched you till the end. You spoke in tongues for a long time. Then you sat here, play. you were doing it with your phone. When you finished, you came. Let me tell you what the Lord told you. Urgings, urgings, promptings, promptings, leadings. Am I lying? And I watch. Then it's time to go to church. I go. Go do my own too. Listen to this statement and write it down. Atmospheres create climates. And climates create cultures. And cultures ultimately 
affect life possibility and life quality. I repeat, every atmosphere creates a climate. The climate in Nigeria today is a function of the Nigerian atmosphere. The culture you see that you don't like, especially, especially around finances and greed and tribalism and all those kinds of things, those cultures were created by a prevailing climate, which climate was released by an atmosphere. So do the math. If you want the right culture, you got to have the right climate. And to have the right climate, you got to have the right atmosphere. Then life quality. will be better. It is atmospheres that bring the presence and the favor of God and create room for the manifestation of the spirit for the accomplishment of the mandate. How do I do this? You ask me, Pastor Soska. I give you four things. Number one, and that's why I said when you go to some places and it is difficult, don't feel helpless. Let my number one help you. Number one, create your atmosphere. Create it. Number two, carry the atmosphere with you. <laughs> number three, Become the atmosphere yourself. Create it, carry it, become it, and number four, reproduce and recreate over and over and over this atmosphere everywhere you go because it is undergirded by the momentum from your maturity walk with Holy Ghost. So you go to a place and it is stifling. Create your atmosphere. Sometimes when people talk, they call it an oasis in the midst of a wilderness. That once you are inside this perimeter, there is an atmosphere, there is an unction. Mako, laka, laka, zikapa. Healings take place. Create the atmosphere. New one choir. If I'm able to lift you and put you in a situation where there is no montage, motif XF, there is no auto sax, there is nothing. There is atmosphere that you carry. After all, there are groups called Take Six, Take Five, Abby, a cappella. Create the atmosphere. Carry the atmosphere. Become the atmosphere. And do it over and over and over so that it's normal wherever you are. There's going to be a consistency, a commonality, a fine thread, unbreakable, linear or cyclical in the manifestation of God through you. Romans 10, 17 says, So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can order today's message and other past messages on our website store, freshdew.tv. It is available on MP3 and CD and also on MP4 and DVD just as seen on TV. Fresh Dew, giving you fresh inspiration and direction for your life.
Thank you for watching Fresh Dew today with Pastor Nkichi Ene. We trust you were blessed by today's episode. For further information on Fresh Dew, please call us on 0700 Fresh Dew, which is 0700 3737 4339. If you're calling from outside Nigeria, the number will be plus 234 700 37 37 4339. Our phones are open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. GMT plus one. You can also send us an email to info at freshdew.tv and we'll be glad to serve you. We also invite you to like, follow, and interact with us on our Twitter and Facebook pages at Freshdew TV and also on Pastor Nkechi's Facebook pages at Pastor Ketch. For more information on how you can partner with Fresh Dew and receive Pastor Nkechi's monthly letters and weekly MP3 gifts, please visit our website www.freshdew.tv Once again, thanks for being with us today and we look forward to seeing you next time on Fresh Dew to receive fresh inspiration and direction for your life.